When I say insulin can be dangerous and then walk away, people are going to say, oh, but that's a treatment. It's a medical treatment. How can you possibly say that? The monthly subscription programs work very well. They've been very popular. Check them out. It's far safer to use other means of dealing with diabetes. I've got a lot of diabetics that, as I said before, never get over a blood sugar of 120, even post meal. So lifestyle is critical for dealing with diabetes. They've done studies. I mean, there was a New England Journal article over five years ago now, maybe closer to 10, where they did a head-to-head -head comparison of a drug metformin very simple easy drug and fairly harmless nowhere near as dangerous as insulin but they compared that to very very mild lifestyle changes and those lifestyle changes weren't dropping your carbs they were more like trying to decrease the amount you ate a little bit and trying to walk a few times a week that was about it just that level of lifestyle change was three times more effective than metformin so more effective than a drug so again lifestyle is critical for managing the risks associated with diabetes. Start there and make sure that you've exhausted all of the lifestyle issues. And then when you start having to go to drugs, again, metformin is relatively safe especially compared to insulin. Be very afraid of insulin. Be, you know, use insulin as a very last resort. There's some new drugs, two drug classes now that have come out that have been out for a few years. The research is just for benefits and risks for those two drug classes are very, very positive. Decreasing inflammation, decreasing cardiovascular death and risk which is the big issue for diabetes. You know, the diabetes itself is not the problem. It's the impact on cardiovascular risk. Those two drug classes, if you're asking yourself, what are they? The SGLT2s and the GLP1s. What are those? Well, you know, one of the more famous GLP ones, a couple of famous ones, Saxenda, Victoza, Ozempic is one you can actually take by mouth. Most of the other ones are injectable. What about uh, the other ones, SGLT2s? Jardians, so Farzaga. So some of those drugs, much, much safer. And so even fewer people should be on outside insulin. <laughs>